Hi guys, good night, good afternoon, good evening, all depends on what part of the world you're in today. This is just going to be a quick, brief video uh, just to discuss a little bit about um, Spice finally came out today and said uh, a little bit about what's going on between her and Rasta. She didn't get into any big detail, but for the little bit of what she told, we could summarize exactly what happened. And, you know, before you come on and eat this video saying I should mind my business, get out of people's business, we have to understand once we decide to take our personal business to social media and also take our personal relationship on social media, then, guys, it's no longer your business. It is now everybody's business. So let's move on from that. So I'm going to show you the video now. And then I'm just going to say one or two words um, of what I think and also to see what your feedback is about a, a woman that has to choose. To me, I'm, a, I'm summing up the fact that I think she had to choose between her career and still continue being in a relationship with Rasta. So watch the video and then tell me what you think. All right. Alright guys, as you can see, she pretty much uh, stated that she's not going to change for a man. And apparently it sounded as if Rasta was putting a lot of pressure on her to change her style of dressing and also to stop with that kind of provocative and sexual type of dance move. Now, ladies, let's discuss this a little bit, okay? Now, I see some people under the comments there um, stating that, oh, um, you know, Rasta met her that way and he took her that way. And therefore, that's, you know, that's her career and he, she's not going to give up her career for no man and they don't blame her. And, you know, just all kind of different um, views I see people have on the whole thing, you know, and some people are saying that, um, you know, that. She never really loved them because if she really loved them, she would have, you know, been able to make the adjustment for him. So therefore, she never really loved them. Other people are saying, oh, Rasta was just around her just to use her for her money and to build his own, you know, career with his photography and to get knowing. You know, you know how you know how we Jamaicans are. Right. We have a whole bunch of different scenarios and comments that we're making. But at the end of the day, my views, my personal views on that is, Spice, we're going to love you regardless. We would have loved you. We would have enjoyed your performance if 
you were wearing, um, you know, a, 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 a long dress, <laughs> you know, or a granny hat on your head. Um, long as you were giving us the same mu type of music and you were giving us the same type of, um, you know, performance. And we would have still loved you in regardless. So if you really love Rasta and you had a good relationship going, I don't understand... Um, as a man, of course, eventually he's going to start feeling some type of way, you know, watching his woman on stage, you know, bouncing our big, you know, butt on another man and splitting and, and uh, have our, our pum pum wide open, you know, for the whole entire audience to see and, you know, jumping and bumping and grinding and, you know, saying like, OK, he might have met her that way. But that don't necessarily mean as time went on and he started to see more and more and more of the type of performances that she actually does. Um, that don't necessarily mean that after a while, being that now he's in a relationship with her, he's in love with her. It's going to be totally different from when he just met her Um not, you know, for him not to feel any type of way. Of course, he's going to feel some type of way. Any man that really love and truly love his woman and protective over his woman, he's going to feel a way after a while to see her showing her half naked body on stage. And like I said, grinding on man, and bubbling and whining and go down and come up. And you know what I'm saying? Like after a while, and then we have to understand that. Uh, Rasta was uh, an American. He's not a Jamaican. So, you know, he's being introduced to the Jamaican culture and the way we dance. And, you know, we we as Jamaican, we dance very provocative. So that's something new for him, too, that he needed to get used to. But what I'm saying to Spice is if, if just adjusting, and I, I'm not saying that you had to do... Um, exactly what he's um, asking you to do, like 100%. But I don't feel that him, at, I don't feel what he was asking you was too much. I mean, if he's asking you just to kind of tone down on your costumes and kind of be a little bit more mindful on stage and maybe change up your routine a little bit to look a little bit more respectful being that he's now in a relationship with you and probably one day wanted to make you his wife and, you know, and bring you around his family and, you know, you integrating into his world. Um, him asking you to kind of tone down a little bit. I don't think it was so unreasonable if you actually loved him because it, you know, I don't see which men, unless they, unless the men that comes into your life spice don't really love you and they really all about just your money and just about the clout, then yes, they're not going to have any issue if you split 10 times or, you know, kin poop lip or, you know, spread out your pom 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 stage. Or, they're not going to care because at the end of the day, they don't care about you. So, uh, so for the fact that he's even voicing some kind of, you know, I wouldn't call it jealousy, but I would call it maybe some form of insecurity or he's feeling some type of way with you performing like that on the stage. To me, that shows he has some form of feelings for you and he just want to, you know, pr protect your image or protect, you know, um, your relationship. So I, I, I don't see where, um, you know, Rasta was really asking for too much. And Spice, you decide to choose your, um, you know, your career and to continue doing what you know best over continue with a relationship with a man. And I, I hope moving forward, you are able to find someone that you feel is willing to accept you exactly how you are and not try to change you in any form of way. And I will say to you, Spice, good luck on that. Because not many men is really and truly that really loves you and care about you is really going to feel comfortable in watching that type of performance. And 
You have to also understand that you don't have to be naked in order to draw a crowd. And you don't have to have, you know, do those type of provocative type of dancing in order to draw a crowd. There's a lot of good females out there that's actually um, well clothed and they're still able to draw a crowd. They're still able to be popular. They're still able to perform. So I don't want you to continue thinking that that's the way you have to look and dress and sound in order for your audience to love you. Okay. We will love you in regardless. So that's my message to Spice. So guys, tell me what you guys think. If you was in Spice position and you had such a great, good looking man by your side, you see the way he, um, was taking care of her, you know, at the Grammys and the way he was, you know, holding up her dress. He was by her side. You could actually see that the kids, they love and adore him. And if you had a man like that in your life and would you give him up just to, would you give him up for fame and money? Cause that's pretty much, I think what Spice did. She gave him up for fame and money. And, you know, in a way, I kind of understand that with her too, because she is coming from a very, very, very poor background. And once you've been so, so poor, and now you're in a position where you can literally just buy anything you want, travel anywhere you want to go, eat the finest of the food and, and able to provide for your kids. I understand that, you know, you get very nervous if something comes in the way to to threaten that lifestyle. So I get that with her also. So that's a dil dilemma I think that Spice is in today. So guys, tell me what you guys think. If you was in Spice shoes, what would you have done? Would you have kind of tried to compromise with your partner and kind of tone it down a little bit and probably find new creative ways um, to perform and entertain your viewers? Or would you say, you know what? You can go, I'm staying exactly how I am. So tell me what you guys think. And I hope you enjoy this video. And once again, I'm going to play it for you one more time. If you didn't, um, I'm going to play the video for you one more time. And listen keenly to what she's you. saying. I'm going to turn out that bar. Let me stress, I'm going to work too hard for them. I don't want no man stressing me. I don't want no man holding me. I don't want no man telling me what to do. I don't want no man tell me, say, I can't dance, I can't do this, I can't skin up, I can't become, I can't wear certain clothes, I can't do this, I can't do that. I'm not doing it! I'm very sorry. Crazy, take me as I am. I leave me the fuck alone. It's very simple. I'm not like a man such a Make your body jaw clap clap, spin it like a propeller, stand up and a clap clap, load like a. Make your body jaw clap clap, load like a. Too load it up. Clap 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 clap. Then I DM him. DM your number. DM him number to you. You girl, what you want to be my love? Me, Chrissy. <laughs> I want free, I want swim alone, I can't do it now. I frog swim. This alone, I can't do This is a float in the water. Every minute, you ask me this, and I ask me that. I choose Uno. I have a choice. I choose Uno. I choose Uno. I choose to perform the same way I'm normally perform. I choose to be my same self. Not changing to please nobody now. Cool down myself. You crazy girl. If you don't miss him like that, then you go on with him. Very simple. Crazy. It's a stress time now. You see me a struggle and I suffer with my two feet and my way me make it. Never make choice and choose man over my career. You crazy? After me, I'm a man. Let us some me love, love. You're mad. I can't try. I can't go there with him.